gang. Thank you very much. Can we get some house lights too? Um, but hey guys, thanks for being here. Thank you very much for, uh, for letting us show this film. Hey Kyle, thank you for being here. It's an honor to have you uh, introduce him. I'm going to take this off and go freestyle. Okay, cool. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, I do want to ask one thing real quick. Like, how did each of you get involved with this? Because, I mean, you're from Philadelphia and you guys are from Birmingham. How does that come about? Uh, well, actually, first of all, there's one or two other people. Brian Storkel, are you here? Yeah. you leave? Morgan Tom Fox in the second row right here. Was our AD, and even though he was not on set, um, he did a significant amount of work for us before the, we went into production. And um, because of that, I had to basically AD the movie, so I'll never do that again. And now I know what your job is like. Um, I met Allison at the Nashville Film Festival in 2003. She was there with her movie Piggy, and she's been at Sidewalk like. I don't know, maybe like 10 out of the 17 years. <laughs> and so uh, we kind of stayed in touch and then um, we ended up, I ended up helping her sort of revive this project, which like Kyle told you before the movie, had kind of gone through one iteration and then instead of making this, she made the dish and the spoon, her last film. And then we uh, brought this back to life and, and, uh, and yeah. Blaine? recording mixer for this um, and uh, has actually not met Elson, so I don't guess you can tell that story. Well, I mean, uh, Ted is involved in many things, uh, <laughs> yes, and we uh, share a workspace and so that's how um, we work together on several other films and so it's real, whenever he's working on a project and it's something that we can do together, he usually brings it to me and, and I say, uh, I work at Bible Recording Studios here in Birmingham and uh, have some other people that I collaborate with on these things that help. This one was done, um, we split it up, and Nick Punch, who's worked on some other things, lives in Florida, I mean, he worked on part of it. Yeah. And he, so he, and then also uh, Van Gunter did uh, some of the sound design as well, and so we, uh, we collaborated on it, but that's how I got involved was through, through Ted. Yeah. I'm trying to think how I first met Allison. Um, yeah, I think she had like an, I saw her at a, at a baseball game and she was like not watching the base, the child's baseball game, but lying in the opposite direction. And I'm not into sports either, so maybe I'll talk to that in a moment. Um, and so we, we hit it off and then um, I have a background in acting and theater, so we started going to see plays together and we realized that we had similar tastes and films and theater, so, and she's my, we live in the same neighborhood, and our children go to school together, yeah. Does uh, anyone here have anything uh, you'd like to know about the movie? Any questions here? Yes, ma'am. I really enjoyed the music throughout the film. Tell me about the uh, score. Yeah, Ted, you could fill in on this. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, the score was composed by uh, Melanie Sue, who is a native Philadelphian and cellist. And she uh, um, is a really interesting musician because she has a lot of classical training and ability, but she composes more um, contemporary you know, music. And she also sings, so although the, the wonderful song at the beginning is her and she's most of the music in the in the movie is hers and it's a really nice fit with the the, the tone of the film it brought like a really nice you know uh, sensibility to it you know I think other questions people hate asking producers questions <laughs> all the producer communities are like this Greg has a question All, all CGI, all CGI, <laughs> with a huge special effects budget, rare for a film like this. Uh, we found some amazing people out in, where were they, Terry? Where was that? 
Schwinksville? Schwinksville? Schwinksville, Pennsylvania. Uh, the guy's name was Kermit. Kermit Moyer. And they were the sweetest people in the world. Just, just like s small scale farmers. And actually all of their animals were treated incredibly humanely. So we kind of had to pretend like, you know, it was a farm where you would want to set animals free. But they were the nicest people in the world. And we just called around every place we could find and said, can we come, can we come shoot a movie at your pig farm for free? <laughs> Didn't get a lot of takers. Uh, but these guys were like, sure, sounds good to us. And we, get, I, you know, we thought we were going to have some generators that we were going to need for that shoot because it was going to be all at night exteriors. And we didn't end up using them, so I left Kermit uh, like a five-gallon gas tank, and he thought that was the best gift ever. <laughs> so it worked out. Uh, Nick had a question. Yeah, Yeah, that's a good good question for this for this movie. Nick's question was, was there a lot of improv, or was it mostly written? So Allison wrote the initial script about eight years ago. And then when we kind of brought it back, we went through a lot of revisions. And then once we actually started shooting the movie, um, at the end of each shoot day, she would meet with the actors and they would basically write, revise the next day's material. Um, so it made for very long days. <laughs> and um, it would eventually, it would, it sort of like grew that way. So then, you know, of course, like one day would build on the next day, and, and we shot, we shot mostly in order, right? I don't think we shot very much stuff out of order at all, because um, we had the the revolving location that we had, which was Ginger's house. We could come and go as we pleased. So we we would shoot there for a couple of days, and we would go, you know, shoot at the bike shop, then we would come back to her house, and we'd just, you know, back and forth. Sam? Yeah, uh, so you mentioned how the project was written and kind of put on the shelf for a while and then um, and brought it back again. It was just, you know, from a producer's standpoint, how, how did that, how was your involvement in shape right now? Um, so the movie was going to be a slightly bigger movie with some name actors. That kind of fell apart as the tendency. You know, these projects always kind of have ebbs and flows. And um, instead of making Funny Bunny, Allison made The Dish and the Spoon as part of that same sort of deal. And then the movie uh, was just kind of on the shelf. And Allison was trying to figure out a way to make it. And we started talking about it and decided to do a Kickstarter campaign. And we figured if we could raise $50,000, uh, we could make the movie. We could figure out a way to make it for that. Um, I didn't realize how painful that would be to try and make a movie like this for fifty thousand dollars, but we we did it, and we had a couple of other people kind of come in and help out a little bit with it. But the movie really is is you know eighty five percent from that Kickstarter campaign, and that literally kickstarted the project and got the whole thing you know off the ground. Thank you guys so much for coming. This was a great crowd. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, I can't plug, can't plug something. Tomorrow afternoon at 12.25, we're doing a secret screening of a film that I produced and that several guys right here worked on that we shot right here in Birmingham. And I'd love for you, we would love for you guys to come. Uh, you'll recognize some of the cast, and if you're from Birmingham, you'll recognize a lot of the locations and some of the people, a lot of the people that worked on the film. So please come to that. It's at ASFA tomorrow, 1225. And who's the sponsor? Uh, oh, it is? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, Point, uh, point, point, your, point Painting. Point Toi Painting. Please, yeah. please, if you need any painting yeah. needs, if you have any painting needs, please go see the good people at Point Toi. Thank you very much. And, and remember, this uh, movie is up for Audience Choice Awards, so please fill out your ballots.